inside the hospital road is part of the contract. But from Sewa town, or from the major road to this place, is supposed to be done by government. We are working very hard to see how best we can get those things done. And then power, electricity. Then we're talking to the energy minister, we're looking for some extra money to be able to do that one. I believe it won't take long. All these client obligations will be executed and we can come and commission this facility. That is Here Health is Minister Kweku Ajimaimenu during a visit to the newly constructed Ashanti Regional Hospital at Sewia in August 2022. Eight months on, the facility is yet to be put into use because government has failed to honor its client-related obligations. The fully equipped hospital at Sewia will be the third biggest health facility in the region, next to Konfanochi Teaching Hospital and the yet-to-be-completed 500-bed military hospital at Afari. The arrangements to bring in a contractor to do eight hospitals, including this one, started from President Kufo's time. Sewa has had its own challenges after President Kufo exited. For 25 years, Residents of Ashanti region, especially indigents of Sewia, whose lands were taken for the project, had hoped to see the completion of the hospital. Several promises from the government to operationalize the facility remained a mirage. Sewia Jasehine, Nana Safo Echampon speaks for the frustrated residents. Regional hospital in Sewia is here. Here is here. Here is here. Here is here. Here is here. I did 25 good years. O man pe yinuko fo ebe ye bi koye. Ye ura tamez ebe ye bi koye. Ye ura mama asu bi somu. Ene nana yuko fo adu so abi somu. Fye di esabri aka ede wo. Se wu ya maye kase hayani ya bwa. E hayen pa 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 akwe ye dagjine. Construction of an indoor substation for the hospital began on January 14, 2023. When completed, the 20 kva power station will serve the hospital as well as some communities in the bosom trade district contractors of the power station luton engineering services hope to complete civil works in june 2023 but when will the hospital be ready to serve patients when there are no signs of work on the access roads the regional hospital at sewa is completed we are left with access road to the facility and dedicated electricity and water supply. It is hoped that the regional hospital project will be inaugurated during the fourth quarter of the year 2023. We are also progressing steadily at Adansi North District Hospital at Formina and Central Kumawu District Hospital. It is expected that these two hospital projects will be completed by the end of 2023. The 500-bed military hospital at Afari and the 120-bed facilities at Formina and Kumewu have all suffered similar occupation challenges after the installation of medical equipment. Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kumabwaji, could not give definite timelines on the operationalization of those hospitals. We are hoping that once the trainings and all the deployment for the new facilities are, are opened, the pressure will come down, the cases will be distributed more. The completion of these facilities will augment existing health facilities, improve care delivery, and also increase access to quality health care. Residents are, however, cautiously optimistic on how soon these facilities will be put to use. It's worrying to see such a facility waste away when the residents are in need of such a facility. It will be joy to see that, that, that facility being opened to us. Because can you imagine in the middle of the night, you have to trek all the way to, let's say, Atonsu or go back to Pramsu. The road itself is not that good. There is no even a sign of something going on there. As a resident, you need to travel all the way to Atunsu Agogo before you can have the access health facility. And this is uncalled for. And we all know that facilities, when you leave facility unattended, it go bad. That cannot waste away. There's a lot of money, a lot of investments.
that you've made why go through all this just to sit there and let it rot away can't rot away people are dying people travel miles and miles to get to hospitals while they can travel a couple of meters just to get to the hospital that you have built for that purpose there are no road networks steady power to me we the citizens have to we have to get up perhaps the completion of the 507 bed capacity Confanochi maternity and children's block which started in february 2021 following the demolition of a 44 year old building over structural integrity issues will put an icing on the cake from kumasi for joy news or interior reporting